let's really briefly get to uh, Rex Tillerson. So there's different theories of Tillerson. One theory is that... His real name is Wayne Tracker. There's r- r- different theories of Wayne Tracker. The only real news he's made in his tenure is belligerently threatening North Korea. Uh, the Trump administration... He was tired when he did that, to be fair. I'm not going to be fair to him. The, uh, he, he, uh, the Trump administration is gutting the State Department. The State Department is in complete disarray. And the question is, is this a feature or a bug? Uh, I, think it's a, I would tend to think it's a feature. I think that Rex Tillerson only sees oil. He only sees global petro deals to the point of not even caring about s- traditional security alliances. He ditched a NATO meeting to go meet in China and didn't take any press with him. What's he talking with China about? Potentially North Korea. I'm sure also energy deals. Here he is blowing off Andrea Mitchell on MSNBC. Mr. Secretary, North Korea is now threatening preemptive action. Can you say whether you think that's a dangerous escalation, sir? No comment. Sir. Thank you. Any comment on the NATO meetings? Thank you. So there he is blowing off Andrea Mitchell. And he's probably tired. And he's basically been saying from he hasn't whole he's he's given the press very, very little attention. And that he and even though he blew off this NATO meeting, which concerned a lot of Europeans, the White House has confirmed that they will give different dates for the meeting where he will meet with fellow uh, European ministers. Um, and Trump's going to Brussels, And too. Trump is going to Brussels as well. Here's something that Rex Tillerson has told the press. In a conversation which he took place with the Independent Journal Review, a conservative news outlet, because, of course, you should not take the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Financial Times with you on a trip to China, and you should blow off Andrea Mitchell. I don't like Andrea Mitchell particularly, but, I mean, it's ridiculous that you don't give Andrea Mitchell time and you give this site time. He told the conservative uh, journal, I didn't want this job. I didn't seek this job. When asked by an aide why he accepted the position anyways, he responded, my wife told me that I'm supposed to do this. That's why George Washington led us in the American yes, Revolutionary that's, War. That's, too. that's exactly right. He's in the Washington mold. Um, And basically said when Trump asked him at the end of his conversation to be Secretary of State, he was stunned. So far, his tenure has been highly controversial with the unusual move of State Department officials restricting members of the media from covering Tillerson's trip to Asia. And then he defended his lack of transparency, saying, I'm not a big media or press access person. I personally don't need it. I understand it's important to get the message of what you're doing out, but I also think it's only a purpose of getting the message out when there's something to be done. So you can see here, even if we took this at face value, and I think that there's no question that to the extent Tillerson is playing a significant role in this administration, it's to wire the world even more for Petro. That's the point. And even military and security strategy are going to be under a armed umbrella and certainly traditional diplomacy and that type of deal making, uh, which apparently Trump uh, is is jettisoning at this point, is not going to be important to the State Department under Tillerson. But this also shows the pathology of fetishizing the CEO. Exxon is one of the most least transparent corporations in America. It operates globally. It's been implicated in everything from human rights abuses in Aceh in Indonesia to uh, leaks in the United States that have damaged public health to all sorts of potentially corrupt deals in Russia, in uh, Chad, in Africa. And their principle is, well, maybe you look at as an example, enlisting professors to do, quote-unquote, independent research. But it was a very, very press-weary company. And he has taken, obviously, the same ideology and the same approach to the press to the State Department. And when you say you want America run like a business, well, that's going to mean the Secretary of State goes to China without press people, cuts God knows what deals, 
after saying a completely belligerent thing about potentially the most dangerous situation in the world in stasis, and then only spends his time with a crazy conservative hack website, which I believe is the same place that published the Barack Obama went to Hawaii and forced that judge to reverse the Muslim ban story. That's what you get. Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump can kiss all of our asses. And one way he can is by you subscribing to this channel. I don't know how that works.